As of 1.20, there are a total of 16 different armor trims with 10 different die combinations. If you were to get all six sets of armor, including 160 turtle helmets, you would have a total of 4,000 combinations. And I'm about to attempt to get all 4,000 of them. Welcome back everyone, hope you guys are having a good day. Today we're going to be taking a break from our Transforming the End series and doing something a little different. We're going to be building and improving our armor trim museum, as well as getting every single armor trim in the game. So, first things first, let me take this area right here and make it look a bit better. Alright, and now that we got that out of the way... Uh, we can work on doing a little bit of the design changes that I wanted to do to this armor train museum. So first thing is that these little pillar things, I want to actually add lava flowing out of them and actually going uh, perhaps down into this ravine as well uh, as on the other side here. Uh, just doing a little lava ravine there. And I thought about changing this roof up a bit, but it's, it's I mean, it's okay. Uh, you know, I think it already looks pretty good in my opinion. And you can't really see that part that much. So uh, for now, we're just going to add the lava and uh, we'll go from there and see if I want to do anything else. Uh, so let me go ahead and grab some lava. All right. This is one side done right here. And here is side number two. All right. And the next step is to get the lava to flow down this and into this ravine right here. Okay. So this is my initial design. Uh, that we're going to start and expand out. So I'm going to have this flow down to about there. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. All right, so we ran into a bit of a problem. I realized that in order to get every single type of armor trim with all uh, five types of armor, including the turtle helmets as well, we're gonna need a total of 1,120 armor stands. And that is not gonna fit in here at all. I could make a ton of floors down and it would perhaps fit if I did a along the walls, but I think that in order to make this just a lot more efficient for myself, what I'm going to do is fly over here, and this area right here is going to become a big stand like you've perhaps seen in other videos where it's just 10, uh, 16 layers of 10 in each armor going up as if it's like a big stadium thing. So I'm instead just going to uh, get working on that, and get all the armor stands placed, and then I will begin work the very long journey of gathering thousands and thousands of diamonds and thousands of netherite and thousands of of all the materials that I need to make the colors and everything. It's going to take probably about two months. So let's get started.
All right, and look at this. We got a total of 160 armor stands per row, so 160 uh, times five, which I did realize that I forgot the turtle helmet category. Um, so this is gonna be netherite, diamond, gold, iron, chainmail, and leather, but I forgot the the turtle helmet. So I think what I'm gonna do is put them over here because <laughs> I realize now that there's no, there's nothing in here anymore. So I'm gonna fill up this floor. I should be able to fit all armor stands in here because I only need 160 in just for the one category of turtle eggs. I mean, uh, turtle turtle helmets. And then also I've decided that I'm gonna also put the armorers in here because I need them to uh, get the diamond armor that I'm gonna be, you know, having to use for these or for all the armor stands. Actually, I want to quickly fly over and this is where my a lot of my villagers are, my old villagers. So I just need to upgrade these guys. Hopefully be able to get one of them that or get enough to sell all the diamond armor I need. Okay, so yeah, next step is going to be trying to get some uh some villagers over there and then we're also going to need to fix this iron farm because well, it's currently unoperationable, and also down here, the zombies are just dead somehow. Oh, and we're missing we're missing four villagers right here. Uh, we're gonna need to get the villagers back in there as well as the zombies. Actually, speaking of zombies, it is nighttime, so let me I need to quickly do this. So let me grab some materials to be able to get these zombies. All right, so right over here is usually where I get zombies. So I'm just gonna get a zombie here. We need two of them. Where the oh, okay, there was a zombie there and he fell. I'm gonna get this guy as well. Come on. Alright, actually I realize and have not made a oh my goodness. I've not made a tunnel yet. Okay, so let me get them over here. And I'm just gonna put them in this wall right here. Come on in here. Both name tagged, yep, okay. And trap you in. Alright. Right here is where we're gonna start. Okay, there we go. We're gonna have them tunnel right into here, and I'll just make a water column real quick and shoot them up, and then I'll also do that with the other one and get them in there as well. Oh, yep, yes, there he is. Oh my goodness, why am I so bad at this? <laughs> Let's go right there. Okay, and all right, so he's bouncing on the minecart. I think we should be good to. Oh, of course that would happen. Um, crap. And pop. There we go. Now we're in now we're in the spot. I'm pretty sure we're good now on that one. Dang, I need to get rid of the water. Okay, let me go from below. Oh, I forgot to have my elytra on. Let me go from below. And we'll just try to get rid of this water right there. Okay. Um let's block it off. Okay. Oh crap. I did not mean to do that. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, that's unfortunate. I just murdered him. Ah, oh, dang it. Crap. Okay. Well, let's clear that back up so we can go up. Good thing it's nighttime. What is that? Oh, crap. That was an enderman. <laughs> okay, let's go get a freaking another zombie. Because I screwed up and murdered him on accident. There's a zombie right here. Follow me. I can't believe I killed him with my shovel. That was crazy. Okay. Name tag you. Thing. This is really tough. I guess I'll just do it how I did last time and hope that he goes into a spot that doesn't suck. Oh crap, iron golems are spawning everywhere. If I break it now? Yep, okay. And now... No! Why did he... Oh, crap. And where did the... Oh, crap. Push you in. Oh, come on, man. I gotta be so annoying. Come here. What? You going through me? Stop it! Come on, dude. Zombies are so annoying. No, move! Get your fat face. No, I missed it. <laughs> Come on. No, please, please. No, what are you doing? Where are you going? Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh my! Dude, why? I can't believe you just did that to my guy, bro. How dare you? You gonna hit me now? Come on, bro. You're supposed to be my friend. Dude, why are zombies... This is like the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. I had I had one that was fine, and now... 
Ugh, now I gotta redo the kelp. Come on, buddy. I should have brought a shield. Come on. Oh, you son of a... Come on. No, where are you going? Where the heck are you going? Come on. Come on. No, attract to me. No, 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 no. Attract to me. Come on, buddy. Just walk a little bit forward, man. Okay, push. What? How did I not place that, bro? Come on. Stay right there. Go, 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 go. Push. Dude, zombies, man. How did I do this so easily the first time? There we go. Jeez. Okay, he's in position. Now we got to get rid of the water and hopefully not destroy any of this red stuff. Okay. Finally got that figured out. The next up is to, well, get rid of this stuff and then... We need to get some more z villagers in there, and that's that's what I'm gonna work on next. There we go. Okay. I think we're good, right? That they're... Yes. We're good. We're good. Okay. I think three is fine. And uh, I think we have three in all. So I'm going to go ahead and say that I'm done with this because I'm pretty annoyed. Yep. I heard an iron golem. So it's working. It may not be the most efficient that it could be. Obviously, I could even build more layers and stuff. But I think we have a lot of iron already stored up. So we should be able to get enough for this armor stand thing we're doing. And hopefully, hopefully it is enough. Okay, so I just realized that these guys actually sell iron armor. And they also sell chainmail too. So I don't really need to worry about that iron farm that much. Ugh, kind of a waste of time that I fixed it, but at least it's done. So I'm just going to go ahead and start trading up with these dudes. And I lost my zombie, unfortunately, so I'm going to have to get him back. But uh, I'll get him back and get him all max zombified and put him in the armory museum. And I'll let you know when I'm done. Alrighty, so we got all, uh, let's see, we got eight in here now, and, okay, aside from that one and that guy, we do have them all, yeah, all the other ones are zombified down to one. Yeah, so I think we got all, uh, all the chainmail armor pieces, as well as the iron armor pieces, and then the diamond armor pieces, um, and diamond armor pieces <laughs> is unfortunate, but we do need twice as many, because we need to turn half of them into netherite. Uh, we also have to disenchant all of them because they all have enchantments on them. But yeah, I'm just going to get grinding on doing that, uh, trading up. I need 160 of each set. So it's just a lot of trading to do. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and start our journey of getting all the armor trims that we need. Um, I have a few, so it shouldn't take too long. But I know that the silence armor trim is super rare. So hopefully that doesn't take forever to get. But we'll see. I'll see you. I'll see you in a few. All right, boom, just like that. We got all of them that we need. Of course, double diamond because these got to turn into netherite, but we got all the armor stands in there and my FPS is still at 60, which is nice. I'll definitely uh, be disabling these once I'm done with this, just so it doesn't lag this area. But all we got to do next is get all the armor trims. We only have seven and there's 16, so we're about halfway there. Um, so that's the next step. So first of all, I need to look up where a lot of them are because I'm not entirely sure. Let me get my brush out because I know you need that for stuff. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to have to go around and find them. So let's let's start that journey. Spotted this right here. So I'm actually going to check this out. I have not been in one of these like ever, to be honest. Even when they first came out, I, I don't think I ever found one. These, what are these? <laughs> just random? Oh no, they actually lead to stuff. Oh, there's a chest. And nothing useful. Oh, there's another one right there. Hold up. I feel like I've never found these, and now I've found two in one jungle. That's that's really weird, <laughs> to be honest. I don't understand what any of these do. Like, why are they even here? Oh, boom, we got wild. All right, so yeah, wild armor is the only one that comes from from uh, these guys. So we don't have to look for these guys anymore, actually, which is nice. But what the heck? There's a woodland mansion over here. Let's check this guy out, because I know we can get one from here. nothing 
Oh, another one? Dang it. I'm in armor. That's not what I wanted. The rest of my journey went a little bit like this. Another village. Another village. Another village. Another village. Another village. Another village. Oh, wow. Look at that. Another village. Oh, wow. Look. Another village. No way. Guys, guess what? Another village. So I ended up flying around and literally flying right back to the portal. So I'm going to go somewhere else because I apparently just fly in circles. I don't, I don't know how that even happened. That's crazy. Okay, so I've made a decision. Um, the fact is, is that I do not want to waste time because I already have a lot to do. I got to start building the Infinibor, uh, two of them, because I need to build one in the Nether and one in the Overworld to get diamonds and Netherite. And so I have decided that what I'm going to do is uh, use use seed base to uh, get the locations of the Pillager Outpost and any other things I need because I don't want to waste time. And you might consider it to be cheating, but I don't, and that's okay. So I'm just going to do this, and, and it's going to be great. So let's let's get started. First thing is finding a Pillager Outpost. All right, first one on our list. Let's see. Hopefully this is a new one. And no. Okay, we did get a goat horn, though. All right, and there should be a pillager outpost right over here. I think I went... Oh, it's right there. Couldn't see it. It was tucked in there. All right, let's see if we get lucky on this one. Oh, yep, we got sentry. Two of them. New them and new horn. Nice. Leave me alone. I'm with these, all right. All right, let's go. All right, just right over here is going to be a temple. Well, that looks kind of cool with the mud going up the mountain there. Right over here. Yeah, there it is. Let's see if we can get lucky and find the dune. I believe dune is the name of this. Uh, for, uh, what is it called? Why am I of this armor trim? <laughs> I literally had to look at one. All right, hopefully we get lucky here. I'm just going to go ahead and plop down and break this because this is the easiest crap ever. Because Minecraft's not hard. <laughs> All right. Let's grab this TNT because might as well. What you do when you're in one of these. Let's see. Not going to take any of that. Okay, I'll take this gold, I guess. And yes, okay. I did not want to go to more than one of these because this is far. Thank God we got it early on. All right. Cool beans. Cool beans. As the, as the hip. No, actually, as the old people say. All right. Finally, I actually found one. So now let's see what we can that's not what i was <laughs> see what we can get oh clay wow amazing okay uh, so we're looking for shaper here and let's see let's keep going see if we can get it fudge oh oh did we get it we got one of them this is host dang it we already have that one Right? Yeah, we already have that one. Alright, keep looking, keep looking. We got... Oh, what is this? I think it's another host. Oh, no, it's Wayfinder, which is not the one, fortunately. Oh, how am I... Oh, how am I doing this? Breaking so many. Oh, please. Oh, I think it actually is. I think it actually is. Hold on. Give me this. Razor? Is that what? No. We needed Shaper. Gosh dang it. Thought we were there. Okay. I, I feel like I'm just blind at this point. Looked right at it and broke it. Didn't even notice. Come on. Give me any clay. I'm going to have to go to so many of these probably. Probably not going to get what we require on this one unfortunately oh wait we got one more let's see did we last second get it wait no way i can never tell oh it's shaper bro i actually got it last room wow i was sure i was gonna have to go to another one all right we got what we came for let's get out of here let's go ahead and head to the nether and look for rib in the nether fortresses so something really horrible happened I died. See, what happened was I opened up my game 
through the new feature in the Minecraft launcher that automatically opens your world. And I was in the nether and I opened it and I left. I went to the bathroom or something and then I died. I lost all those, all my stuff, all my netherite stuff and I lost all the armor trims. And as you can see now, I've gotten my armor and everything, all my tools back, but I gotta go get all the armor trims again now, which really sucks because I almost had all of them. But let us just go ahead and do that now. I'm just gonna jump between each one, getting all 16. Hopefully it doesn't take forever, but let's, uh, let's get started. Finally! And a go horn. Cool. Alright, cool. Yep, here's one. Do we get it? Do we get it? Uh oh, yes, there it is. Nice, we got it. Oh, nice. First try, let's go. There is armor trim number one, which is razor. Oh, here's number two. Is this a new one? I actually can't tell. Do we get? Post, it's a new one, nice. Two out of four. Done. Not bad. Oh, number three right away. Oh, I think that's a repeat, actually. Post. Yeah, that's a repeat. Dang it. Oh, all right. Number th uh, four. Let's see if we can... Uh, I think this is a repeat. Yep, post again. Dang it. Oh, we got one right up there. It looks new to me, actually. What do we got here? Shaper, yes, it's a new one. Okay, we're only one away from getting all four. Oh, do we get it? Is this a new one? Uh, no, I don't think so. That is... Yeah, that's host again. Gosh dang it. Looks like that was all of it, and... We fortunately... We got three of them, but unfortunately we didn't get all four, so we're gonna have to go ahead and find another one and hope that we get that fourth one. Found another one right here, so let's get started on excavating this guy out. Oh, I think we got it. Kind of jammed in there, though. Where'd it go? Huh? It literally vanished. Did it get shoved up there? Huh. That's... Interesting. I I have no idea what it was because it just vanished. Oh, I got it. It's Wayfinder. Oh, okay. <laughs> we got them all. Pretty sure. Let me let me just make sure real quick. I do believe we got them all. Yep, that was the last one. Boom. All right. We can we can be done with this this thing now. So I searched probably close to 20 to 30 ancient cities. And this was my strategy. I would just lie down here and mark it to know that I got the chest, grab the loot that I saw inside, and then fly right back up here. At first I was, you know, using wool and going around and doing it real slow, but it, it was taking a really long time. I had to go to so many. It had already been full day and then it was the second day in. And so I just went with this strategy to be the most efficient. I had some close calls, but I actually never even got hit by the warden. They didn't shoot me or anything. I just always flew away in time, and I did a couple times pop a totem from kinetic energy, but I never died, which is cool. And then, lo and behold, one night... Oh my god. Oh my god, if it wasn't the middle of the night, I'd be screaming right now. I can't believe I finally got it. This took so long. In these shulker boxes, we got all the loot. Look at all the amethyst shards we got, all the echo shards, 27 enchanted golden apples. Crazy. So much diamond horse armor, diamond leggings, diamond hose, lots of hose. All the hose I need. 
Swift sneak books for days and days. Two shulker boxes full of these. Absolutely crazy. And we got some music discs as well. Some random other stuff. Other random uh, enchantment books, including mending. And swift sneak more. <laughs> and some other, other crap. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. I uh, can't believe it. It's finally over. It's finally over. So I'm so done with, with ever going back to an ancient city ever again. Unless I decide to make some sort of cool base there or something. I'm, I'm never going back. Ever. Ever. All right. Let's, uh, let's get the rest of these armor trims now. Now that we got that super rare run out of the way. Oh, yes. Let's go. Got that one. Ah, get away from me. Bye. All right. Next up. All right. See if we can get it. No way. First chest. What the heck? Cool. Let's get out of here. Alright, just looking for the end portal here. Oh. oh. I think it, uh, where'd it go? Oh, yep. Should be right down here. Let's just mine down. Oh my goodness. Oh, yep, here we are. Oh, uh, I don't know how I didn't have that advancement, but okay. Let's see. Do we get lucky on our first chest right here? Nope. Didn't get lucky. Okay, let's check in here. Where's the chest? Oh, there's one. Oh, nice. Second chest. Let's go. Uh, do I want this stuff? Yeah, sure. All right, cool. All right, this is my second end gate, or end city, rather. Let's see if we get it on this one. Yeah, this is a new one for sure. Kill this dude. Die, please. Where's the Electra? Oh, boom, let's go. Good loot in here, I guess. Yeah, I'll take this stuff, sure. Oh, right, yep, it was there. It was just my item frames weren't rendered. All right. That is all of them. Uh, so let's let's head back to the old world and uh, see what our next step is. All right, and we finally got all sixteen armor trims. Took about two real life days, but we did it. Next step is going to be getting all of the uh, ten different materials that we need, which include iron. Gold, diamonds, emeralds, redstone, lapis, quartz, amethyst, and copper. I think I got all 10. And um, yeah, it's going to take a bit of time to get all, all that for these. We also obviously are going to need to get a ton of diamonds and netherite to be able to uh, get this upgraded to netherite. As well as actually crafting all or multiplying all 16 of these into, I think we need... I remember correctly it's 4,000 <laughs> of each which is a lot so we definitely need a bajillion diamonds and I don't really know what the exact number is so I'm just gonna get like around 20,000 to be safe so what we're gonna do is we're gonna build the infinibore and I'll post a link in the description of that uh, tutorial video it's a pretty complicated machine I'm not really sure how how exactly to use it I'm just gonna follow a schematic and follow the guide there and hopefully figure it out all right so another story time for you guys so i started out with this area right here for the infinite war and i just grabbed my axe and chopped down all the trees in the area and then i built this tnt fly machine and i started it and let it blow up all the way down to bedrock but unfortunately i lost the footage then after that was destroyed we had this massive crater right here and down in it i built the infinibore using that schematic there i decided to get a ton of alays to help me get all the diamonds i got about 20 of them uh carrying different stuff diamond shards and other stuff brought them all to the infinibore spot and once i was here i was collecting all of the loot gathering up as much deep slate that i could and just getting all the diamonds that i wanted the tunnel was super long and it took quite a long time to explore 
And after I was done exploring all of it, I flew back, gathering anything that I missed. And, well, it was, it was alright. But I had, a, I had a bit of an issue. You see, this was all the diamonds that I collected. And it was a decent amount, but it was nowhere near enough. I needed to run a super long operation. And it was going to take probably about four days to run. And so that's what I did. I ran a four-day operation get, to get more diamonds. Once I was done with that operation after four days, the tunnel was insane. I got another couple stacks of diamond blocks. And it was great. But it still wasn't enough. So what I had to do was I had to build the Infinibor once again in a different location. Well, not in a different location, but just rotated 90 degrees. And I decided to increase the conveyor belt of it and everything and i went to run it and it seemed to run fine but there were some issues that you can see right here it kind of for some reason blew up really weird but either way i got a decent operation got some diamonds but i wanted to run a super long operation and once i did that it blew up and it just kept blowing up over and over i had no idea why it worked one time and then it stopped working and i was left with no choice but to do the whole process over again and build it in a completely new spot. So that's exactly what I did. All right, so just completed an operation here, and I realized that I don't think I've ever really explained how this thing works. So let me just give a quick rundown. I'm not an expert on it, but uh, I'll just give you a quick rundown of what I understand about it, which is simple. So we have operation duration right here. This is just how many I put in here. I just ran 20, so I just ran 20 of them. And if you look at the settings I have, we have 90 plus 10. So that's the tunnel bore operation equaling a total of 100. And then over here, we have our forward separation of five. So that means it's 100 distance times five because five blocks separated, um, and that is 500. And then this is our remainder for this one right here, which is six. So this sign shows you that six is actually 60. And what this is corresponding to is, is this right here. So if you had like 58, you'd have, you'd have two uh, less than 60. And so you'd actually put... Uh, you put six in here and then subtract to eight by putting an eight in this in this book here. Um, but yeah, that corresponds to the conveyor length right here, which is why it blows out like that. And then our TNT settings, we have the number of TNT at six, meaning that just every individual spot that has TNT has six stacked on top of each other. And then the vertical positions is two because we only have these two right here. And we also have keep items on, which just changes the redstone in there to make it so that an additional TNT is not summoned, not destroying the items. We also have down here the range finder. This is just settings of distance that we can set to change and have them go higher and skip chunks so it doesn't start right here. It can start up to 10,000 blocks away. And uh, that's all the settings there are. It's uh, pretty confusing to run when you first build it. I was super confused. It took me a long time. I've had to build this thing probably like four or five times now. It's kind of Kind of crazy but yeah you you what you do is you just take out however many operations you want put them in here you prime it by clicking this and then you fly to your afk spot that you uh, have seen me come from and uh that's that's all it is too you just wait till it runs and i just rated about i think it was about 30 hours so it's a really long time and i'm gonna go ahead and run through this and gather the last diamonds that we need and then we'll get on our way what the f i don't know how i just got this but i got the every Biome? What biome am I in? Uh, I'm in a taiga. I don't... I don't know how that... I say I flew over here. Is that what it was? Windswept forest. Windswept hills. That must be what it was. 
Wow. So I just wanted to show a quick little scene right here. As you can see, uh, I have an allay. And this clay is pretty cool. It's giving me all these diamonds. Lovely, lovely. And, oh no, oh no, no, no. Don't go in the lava. Oh, crap, no. Oh, this is my last guy, and of course he goes in the lava. They always go in the lava. All right, come on, come on. Get in this, get in this water, get in this water. Come here, come here, come here. No, 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 what are you doing? Okay, yeah, go in the water, go in the water. No, no, go in the water. What are you doing? He's just still working. He just still wants to pick up diamonds from me. Thank you so much, but you got to save yourself. Oh no, he's gonna die, he's gonna die. Gosh dang it, it's my last guy. Yes, thank you for the diamonds, but please save yourself. He's just keep working, he just he just wants to do his job. Oh my god, he survived, what? No way. Okay, I did not expect him to survive there. Okay, so, um, never mind what I was saying before, let's get out of here, uh, I'm done. This is, this is all the diamonds we need, so let's go. Yeah, I think with, with the remaining deep slate ore, we will have enough. So, we're finally done with getting all the diamonds, and I can finally get out of this tunnel. And finally begin duping all of the armor trims that we need. I'm so glad that I'm done with the Infinivore. This was such a long process. It was such a long process, and I had to troubleshoot a lot. I had to talk to Cubic Meter himself uh, to help fix this, fix issues that I had. I ran into, like, five different issues. It was kind of ridiculous. But we're all done now, which I'm, I'm so glad that we're all done. I'm gonna fly back to the Orwell and get all the materials that I need to start duplicating and crafting up all of the armor trims. Alrighty, so we got all these organized out. So these are the ones that require cobble. These are the ones that require uh, deep slate. These are the ones that require terracotta, uh, blackstone, netherrack, prismarine, mossy cobblestone, endstone, purple block, and sandstone. And currently, I have enough blackstone, netherrack, uh, endstone, sandstone, and deep slate. So I still need to get cobble, which I have a cobblestone generator. I just need to actually use it. And that'll be easy. We got to get terracotta. I'll just go to a canyon biome and use a beacon. That'll be easy. We got enough of that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I got my raid farm. I can do that. That'll be easy. Mossy cobble. So I think the best way is to just probably craft it using moss, which I get that decently easy you have enough endstone purple block only way to get that in my mind is to just go to a ton of end cities and just destroy them that seems like the fastest way and i have no sense so that's what i'm gonna do next i'm gonna get all the blocks all right this is where we're gonna get some cobble all right do believe we have enough now we needed 400 cobblestone six and seven and then plus 16 and then actually we need that again because we also need to turn half of this into mossy cobble. Let's get some moss at our bone mill farm just over here. All right, so let's just turn this on. And then, yeah, I just, actually I can just do this and pick it up. I don't even have to do anything. I just gotta pick it up. Yep, this will be easy enough. Time to just get 400 moss. Alright, so we got plenty of moss now. And uh, let's craft up half of these into some mossy stone. Alright, craft all these. And now we got all of the mossy cobblestone that we need for duplicating the smithing templates. Okay, and next up we are going to go ahead and head to the nether jump on through this portal and let us get some terracotta just first gotta oh okay cool first gotta just activate this guy i'm just gonna use a diamond because i obviously have so many of them let's get haste 2 on there and now we're able to get all the terracotta that we need easily like this and while i'm here i'm gonna take this beacon so that i can use it to destroy an end city let's head there now all right, let's fly through our cool spaceship that is unfortunately currently empty, but still looks pretty neat. And we're gonna go right over here into this end gateway. And then I do believe there is an end city right over here. So let's go over here and let us set up a beacon and destroy all these purple blocks. Alrighty, we're gonna get some haste too now and let us start destroying the crap out of this. 
I went ahead and destroyed the entire thing, uh, leaving this the ship. And, you know, I think I might do something here eventually at some point. But anyway, we got enough purple blocks, so let's head back. Let's grab our beacon. And we're going to go ahead and get the last block on our list, which is prismarine, which is going to be easy to get. Just got to head to my guardian farm. All right, and I'm pretty sure we have enough in reserve. Yep, definitely going to have enough in reserve to make six stacks here six and a half that's enough that's all we need and if i combine it with the other ones that i gathered that's all we need right there and with all those as well as the deep slate and the cobble and mossy cobble that's all of them that we need to start duplicating so let's head back and get our all our diamonds and let's get started on some mass crafting all right, I think it's only fitting that we craft up all this stuff inside of our armor museum here. I'm gonna go ahead and just take this out right here, put it over here and make it a little easier. So basically what I'm gonna have to do for the next hour or two is to get a ton of diamonds in my inventory and then grabbing one of these at a time. So let us just start with the dune one here. So I don't wanna grab that because the exact amount is in here. Let's grab this and come in here and start duplicating and once we craft all of these boom that should be enough let's see put it right back into our spot here yep looks like we actually made an extra four but that's all right so now i just need to do that with every single one all of the armor trims that we got all 16 and uh i'll let you know when i'm all done all right we finally got all of the armor trims all the armor trims crafted up actually I made a bit too many of these but that's okay uh, we got just a quite a few diamonds left over which is nice we got all of the dye ingredients here and I realized I forgot one thing and that is to make a scoot farm and get the turtle helmets which are gonna be up here uh, on this top floor so okay so right in right here <laughs> It's a lot of armor stands, but there's 160 in here, so I need to get 160 turtle helmets, which is a lot of scoot. So I'm going to go ahead and figure out a way to build a scoot, scoot farm, and that will be the last thing we'll do before we can finally craft all these armor trims onto the armor. So I'll see you in just a moment. All right, we got a full night of AFK, and let's check this out. Okay, there's lots of turtles around me. It looks like they got... It seems like they might be yeah that's what i thought they're stacking up over here and they're coming up um it seems like we got a ton now let's see how much scoot we have let's check it wow not that much that's unfortunate oh there's turtles everywhere geez i also think now that i have a bunch of turtles in here i'm gonna remove this and uh just let the ones below die <laughs> because we have way too many okay this is ridiculous but <laughs> i'll figure this out and uh hopefully be able to get enough scoot and i'll see you when i'm all done all right and after a long while of breeding them up and waiting for them to hatch i grabbed all the scoot out of this chest right here and it was just enough to craft all of the turtle helmets that i need which means we're ready to go ahead and craft all of the armor trims and put them on the armor. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll place this guy here. Let me fly over here and grab our armor trims, which are just in here. All of them right here, you can see. We also have the dies right here. So let's go ahead and grab all this. And this is just gonna be a long process of crafting, so let's get started. I gotta take it off the armor stand here, and then I gotta craft it, and then I gotta put it back on. And it's gonna be that over and over and over for all 4,000 of them. And I also gotta keep organized so I don't mess up, so I don't duplicate anything. But hopefully I can get this done in a reasonable amount of time, and I'll see you when I'm all done. So excited to finally get done with this project. Let's go. Look at this, we're halfway done. It looks pretty cool. Just got another eight <laughs> more to go. All right, here we go. This is the last five that we got right here. Oh, okay, always phantoms. 
Well, this is how I've been doing it. So let's trade these out. Grab these. Really, Phantoms? You have to be out now. Jeez. Okay. And then we come over here. We get organized right here. That. Okay. And then we go boom, boom, boom. Next one. Oops. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Actually, wait. That's supposed to be like that. Anyway. Let me do that again. Okay. And then boom, boom, and boom. And there we go, last one. All right, let's head up to the top. Place these guys down one by one, just like that. And in the right order. Obviously, silence was the last one that I did because it's the rarest one. And now we got all of them placed. Boom, look at that. We also got all the turtle helmet combinations up here, putting the silence armor trim out here. And that is it. We had a little bit left over, uh, kind of miscalculated a lot. I didn't realize that I didn't need that much, but we're all done now. Finally all done. And the only thing left to do is to enjoy this view of the all these armor trims. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put an armor trim on my own armor as well. So let's put silence on my armor here silence with netherite because i wouldn't have it any other way there we go now we look different after all this time anyway thanks so much for watching hope you enjoyed this it was a long process to do all this and i really hope that you like what you see right here because i think it's pretty cool i'll see you guys in the next episode uh, yeah, uh, we're gonna go ahead and say nope to that. Much better.